Governor Jeff Landry is reacting after it was revealed that one of the suspects accused of killing a French Quarter tour guide is an undocumented immigrant. The 19 year old is facing a second degree murder charge. And as the story continues to unfold, Alyssa Curtis reports more and more leaders are calling for accountability in the justice system. Monday, a family privately said goodbye to their loved one. 43 year old Chrissy Thibodeau was a French Quarter tour guide and was sitting in her car when she was fatally shot. Three teens were arrested and now we're learning more about them. According to the Office of Immigration, the 19-year-old involved Joshua Bonifacio is an undocumented immigrant from Honduras. In a statement to WWL Louisiana, ICE says Border Patrol encountered Bonifacio on May 11, 2019 near Hidalgo, Texas, and quote, determined him to be inadmissible into the U.S. According to information we obtained between then and now, he's been arrested at least three times. After learning this information, Governor Jeff Landry tweeted, quote, this man should have never been in Louisiana. Enough is enough. We must close our borders and keep our communities safe. The case has sparked calls for a change to the ankle monitoring system after it was revealed that the 15 year old who allegedly pulled the trigger was supposed to be monitored through supervised release. State Representative Tim Kerner recently passed legislation that holds ankle monitoring companies more accountable. It goes into effect in January, as he says, there's a dire need for better communication. Got people that's uh, offended that's, that's being put on uh, ankle bracelets and then uh, no accountability. Uh, uh, you know, I don't want to say it's no accountability anywhere, but in, in a lot of cases, there's no accountability. So uh, I just thought that was crazy and, and uh, dangerous, dangerous to the, to the public. We're working to get more information on how the juvenile ankle monitoring system works and who is supposed to be monitoring it. We've reached out to DA Jason Williams' office, Attorney General Liz Merle's office, juvenile court, and the mayor's office. They've all referred us to the Office of Juvenile Justice, which hasn't responded to our emails. Alyssa Curtis, WWL Louisiana. Bonifacio was arrested for second degree murders and prosecutors are expected to try and indict the 15 year old for first degree murder. Attorney General Liz Merle did release a statement today saying, quote, if the Biden administration was enforcing the law, they should never have been in our country and Christy Thibodeau would still be alive. Now, she also claimed that the other two suspects were also Hunter and Nationals. However, ICE has only confirmed to us that Bonifacio is an undocumented immigrant.